Hello and welcome to my best plays of this week. We'll do a little bit of a review, see how we're getting on, um, get some potential plays on the cards, and we'll see what happens. Um, last week, geez, like a lot of things are being hammered into the ground, and I really want to talk about it, especially in regards to like NASDAQ and gold as well. NASDAQ in particular, I think it's done for. I think it's gone, it's going down. I think it's coming all the way down here, but we'll talk about that soon let's get into a bit of a review and how how good the month has been going or bad um so this has been the month so far hasn't been going especially amazingly well for a particular reason um guys inside my premium group uh, know why um but about a month ago i received some like, i'm not going to go into details here i received some pretty shitty news um really shitty news um but as of last thursday i think it was we're good everything's fine we got some good news and we're good but for that entire month last month as well phew, hit me like a rock um trading was all over the place and that's the thing and I, like I, I and that's and the thing about my group is that the point of the group is you come in here and you see me see everything about me it's it's just complete transparency that's the point of the group it isn't supposed to be run by like, like this fucking super well-oiled machine it is the truth behind trading okay in the future i will be taking one or two people on mentors to help me to keep it a bit more consistent in that regard but you're getting me you're getting how trading is like as an actual person um and that's pretty much the i suppose how it does especially when kind of life hits you and last month life that hit me um but like again this is i'm, I'm pretty happy this is one of my accounts i've um i say multiple times that this is my signals account this is where all the signals go through um but this is one of my accounts and i do have what's that little button there oh no this is just this is trader sync by the way guys if you're wondering if you want to have a have a do it use it yourself it's it's like an ai generated journal so you import all your trades from mt4 mt5 or td365 or whatever and it just goes bloop and it gives you like all these amazing stats um so on this signals account at the moment so you can see our brilliant month the first month uh you can see look at all the losing trades and like i don't trade every single day so we did have a good push this month and we had one two three four five we fight we had a full trading week where i didn't trade okay but again the point of my group and the point of my teachings and my signals and and my education is that like i'm showing you how to do it you go off and do it yourself if you can manage one to three signals per or one to three plays per day and you can get perfect ones you can be in front of the computer you can destroy these numbers in the past i've got 15 to 20 percent months but i'm not pushing it like that anymore because i don't need to again the point of what it's uh, the point of my teachings is for it's you to do it yourself you know i'm you know the reason why i wasn't profitable for so long is because i was spoon fed we had another really good month that month we had one two three four five six seven we had another seven trading days which is like a week and um, a week and two days or we we did not trade and we still managed to get 10 percent again it's all going for realistic safe numbers i'm not here to push massive 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 numbers just work that way this was the this is the month that got me um again it's the it's the the real side of trading you're not gonna like i'm surprised i haven't had a a, a red month yet i haven't had a red month yet and i've shown that i haven't had a red month everything has been called in a group you know i'm not hiding anything um when you go inside the group as i said inside the signals part everything has been shown like i'm not faking anything um but again the whole point is to show you show you and be 100 percent transparent because this industry is lacking in that um it's all well and good to be throwing out signals here there and everywhere but if you're not seeing like statements of the person that's teaching you the where's the credentials you know and at least i want to show you that we're coming out every single month profitable okay um if i was doing this on my own i could probably quadruple these numbers i'll be completely honest but with the with the stress of running a group and doing all these sort of things and just being open about everybody again i just want to be honest with you i have to be honest with you because again you're here because you like the transparency so last month as i said i got that news and it was rough um but one two three four five six seven eight almost two weeks two trading weeks where essentially i did not trade still managed to get 3.5 percent i'm happy with that again this is one of my accounts i was able to make a good percentage on the other ones i think excuse me i think that would be came out with about fifteen thousand in total with all my other accounts in in consideration <coughs> and then this month so far as i said last you can see here the complete lack of signals and just the lack of trading from me you can see here monday i didn't trade which is this day here i didn't trade one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven days, and we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. We essentially still have two weeks left in this month, so I'm I'm gonna get this number up. I will. Um, Friday we did take a trade. I haven't input it in here yet because it was a. We're in this lovely gold trade. I put my stop loss to break even because it's Friday and I just was not in the mood to take a loss. What happens? Absolute bull. Um, this was this was the exact trade. Okay, our entry was right here. Yeah, uh, I'm not even joking. Pure salty on this one. Um, it was something like this. That was the trade. Um, I take I told everyone to get out here. That did stay in the trade because we have the Asian session lows. Um, my strategy is all based around the the liquidity from the previous session lows. And then most people got out there in a the reverse. So like it should have been like a 3.5% a win. But we got all the way down here. I noticed that we had this. Um, I noticed that we had this trend line. That we were refusing to break under. Uh, I went down. I came back up. And I was just like, Do you know what? I'm not in the mood. It's a Friday. Fridays are my worst trading days. I did this. We get tagged out by like absolutely nothing and then it comes down a load of people inside the group got the trade because they didn't move their stop loss to break even they didn't mind taking a loss but look it is what it is anyway that's that's how the month is going so far i just want to be completely open and honest again this is how it's going and uh you get to see everything um i think there's about 28 29 000. Do you know i'll just show you it's like 20 27 000 on this account right now you can see the the steady upstream with the account you can see I do have a 55% win rate. Um, like I suppose you get to see everything here, you know. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. You know, I don't, as I said, I, I'm not pushing massive amount of trades. It's up to you guys to do that. I've made I've made a lot of money from trading. I'm not, I'm not in the kind of mindset where I need to be pushing extremely hard anymore. I'm here to teach you and show you what I've done myself. There will be months where I just, I'm just like, you know, I always say there's this principle in trading in life where you're either pushing or you're pulling. There's going to be moments where you're pushing really hard or there's moments where you're pulling back. When you're pushing, you're just putting everything in, you know. And again, you have to remember that it might be 27, 28,000 on this account, but I'm also doing it on other accounts as well. I don't need more money. I know that might sound really brash or whatever, but I don't. It's just honest truth. So the point of the group is to show you, hey guys, look, it's possible. Here's my teachings. I've proven to you I can do this. Get off and do it yourself. And of course, the signals are just to show you what I'm kind of thinking. But I am making a conscious effort now to do a little bit more going into the next few months uh, and try to get my averages up just a little bit more. And I suppose just to push it. The summer months for me also are months that are just meh, do not like trading them. Um, but once it gets winter again, I will be pushing plays. I'm telling you right now, it is so much easier to get 100 point plays from next month onwards. Get 100 point plays, so much easier. Right now, it's a grind. It is so much harder because there's like one or two really good moves and that's pretty much it you know you'll see what happens is throughout the day look here's here's uh asian session london session and thing like you had one good move up and then it came down went up and went back down again there there and of course this was absolutely disgusting to trade but like this is a perfect example look we had one good move up one good move down you know you miss it it's gone here's another example we we had we had, we had a move down we had a move up and move down in my mind that was like one good move. You might have caught this one. But this is what I mean about the summer. It's just like it's one or two good moves. You miss them and that's it. That's why I always say don't be stuck at the charts trading all day long. If you're stuck in the charts, look at all that crap that you're stuck in. Nothing happens here. It breaks to the upside. Fair enough. And then it breaks down. That was the two moves. You should not be in the market any other time here. So that's why I always say limit your charts. Anyway, let's get into it. I've shown you what uh, my month's been like. So when it looks at like NASDAQ, I'm only going to look at a few here because I don't trade too many things right now because it's a bit easier to, um, you don't want to be missing loads of stuff as well, okay? So NASDAQ is on its way down. I think that the hype of all of the, I think just the hype of AI and everything is, is gone. It is gone. I am bearish on Tesla, Nvidia. Um, I'm just bearish on all of them now. I think they're all. I think they've they've just overinflated right now. They've all had such good months and they've all gone through the roof. And Nas obviously is the top 100 tech companies. I don't think I don't think we're going to be touching the top 
my personal opinion i think we've topped out um what i'm looking for right now is probably a pullback so if we turn off this right now um if we go on to the four hour and we just put a little channel in here like this my channel is the wrong color um you kind of get a, a little bit of an idea of where i think things might actually go um so you can see here a little bit of a channel so what i'm essentially waiting for is price to retrace back up a little bit here and possibly jump into a short position i think we are in for a little bit of a retracement maybe monday or so um, monday or tuesday and i want to kind of get into a short position up around this angle right here okay and literally swing it down i am looking for something like that um i think right now the next levels for support is pretty much this demand down here i think we're going all the way down to 14,300. so what i'm looking for right now is essentially a spring back to the upside fail maybe around 15,000 or even 14,900. 14,900 might even be nicer and essentially move to the downside. So maybe even like that. That's what I'm essentially looking for on NASDAQ. I am not bullish. I am done with it. That being bullish, I think it's, I was super bullish and then it just started, it's just crumbling and you have to go with the market. Like look, we've been crumbling since July 23rd. You know, it's, it's, it's been a full month yeah um this obviously is an opportunity where it could bounce but it sliced right through this was the opportunity for it to bounce right here and it didn't it just sliced right through so i think it's going back up it's going to retest this area right here and it's going to come back down even if it even gets that high and then this is the next possible bounce area which is fourteen thousand three hundred. so that's what i'm looking for right now you could possibly try a bounce position here to get something like one of these plays like from here to here yeah so that could be a fairly easy to maybe one to 300 points. Um, but that will be the next area I'll be comfortable doing along. I was saying to people inside the group continuously all last week, I'm not trying to guess this bottom. Every every single time it was it was, it was was pumping up, it just sliced down, pumping up, sliced down. If you're a scalper and you're quick, you can get in, get out, fair enough. But like, just not interested in it. Not interested at all. Like you can see here, like we, we took out the Asian lows, again, part of my strategy. Um, you could have got you know 70 points here and there but i'm just not interested in these really low probability plays because if if it's collapsing like this you know you're waiting for it to just fall out from underneath itself yeah so like you can see here you know i think what will happen is we'll come up with test the zone and we come back down again uh, maybe a bit higher but you know there's your two zones to try a short position swing from here or swing from here gold um gold right now as i said you know it's really difficult because it's been in this descending channel for uh, about a month as well. Like it is getting annihilated, you know, like look at this channel. There's your channel, you know, and there is your bottom that we broke underneath and we've been underneath it for two days and we've officially closed underneath it. OK, you look at something like maybe the weekly as well. Like look at look how bearish that looks. You know, we've broken under all the supports. Again, like it's weird that NASDAQ and gold are both going down. You know, I'm, I am bullish on gold. I really am. But you have to just be realistic with yourself here. You know, I think what would be a good call, though, is that we could be going down a little bit further before it officially bounces. We could go down to a zone around here, which is roughly down by 1,820. Um, but it's a long way down as well. What is that, like a thousand points or something or 500 points? It's like 700 points, you know. It's a tough one uh, because, as I said, I'm super bearish on, or super bullish on gold, but it hasn't shown anything to suggest it's going to go bullish, you know. So you just kind of have to play what you're seeing here. Like if you if you had shorted every single one of these touches inside this inside this, and you just had placed your your stop loss above every single time that it took out highs, you were good. Okay, so look, just just be smart. Go with the trend, yeah? You know, there you go. Like, try maybe... Actually, this was a position I wanted to take. 1900. Put your stop loss right above here. And try maybe a, a bit below. Um, let's look here. So we have these lows. The lows have been taken out. So there's your liquidity that have been taken out. We had a big pump up before that. But we have this monstrous gap underneath now. And that's what makes me really weary about gold. We have no support until down here. You could be like, oh, but Rob, you know, this this here was support. And that, yeah, you're 100% correct. That can be support as well. But that still is like fucking three, 400 points below. 
It's like 400 points. There's no support till about 400 points. Okay, so I'm going to short it. This is, does, there's no logical sense in doing otherwise, you know. So if I was going to short this, I wouldn't be playing it all the way down here, okay. Because if you look at gold, look, every single time it, it pops down, it comes back up. It pops down, it comes back up. It pops down, it comes back up. pops down. There isn't going to be a massive drop usually. So what I would maybe do is pick the bottom and go a little bit underneath. And that would pretty much be the play, okay. Obviously, you would need to tighten up these a little bit more. But that's what, I'm, that's what I would do. Until gold, okay. Until gold breaks above that zone right there, yeah gets up to probably like 1915 then i'll be like right okay looking for a play back here and and up that's the only way i'd be comfortable getting into a short right now because all you're doing right here is fucking guessing the bottom that's all you're doing you need to see the structure change and it hasn't don't fool yourself and don't tell me it has it has not changed structure once properly Okay, it needs to break heavily above, it needs to take out multiple highs, it needs to get rid of this trend line, and it needs to close above, yeah? Or this channel. Channels are much better than trend lines, by the way. Um, just because, just because I said so. Oh, I'm joking. So, this is the only way I'd be playing it, yeah? It. This is the only way I'd be playing it. Um, your USD, um, very, very similar. It didn't come back to the place where I wanted uh, a trade. It came so close. Okay, again, I work off previous session high and lows, and I wanted this position right here, and it just, it, you know, it didn't get up there. <laughs> it scraped up there. Uh, again, I really like using confluences like trend line bounces right before liquidity, you know. So, what did I have here? I had liquidity from the trend line. We had, well, resistance from the trend line. We had this liquidity line right here, which was one hour. This is a top of a one hour candle. See here? Um, oh, sorry. Apologies. It was a 15 minute candle. Yeah, top of a 15 minute candle, which was right above the Asian session high. So what I was looking for was a quick sweep up of the Asian session, take it out and drop it back down again. I'm still looking for that. So what I'm looking for right now this is a bit too high now. So I would probably be looking for this. A fake out right here. So take out these Asian uh, previous, day, previous day session highs. Okay. So we would have taken out. Like my strategy is kind of basically once, once we take out a previous session, we look for a short position or a long position depending. Now if you have all these positions above obvious areas where you think price can go. And especially when you have a trend line close here as well wait for those instead wait for higher probability areas so i'll be waiting for this to come up here i'm not bullish again i don't care what anybody said like it is in a place where it can bounce but it just hasn't shown it hasn't shown a uh, strength what it needs to do right now is exactly the same with gold okay we have kind of this zone to be honest probably needs to be like up here we need to literally do this okay it's just otherwise you know you're just you're just fooling yourself you really are fooling yourself you know you need to play what you see and we're going down for ages now obviously you can counter trend trade there's nothing wrong with that but until it breaks above this level comes back down retests then you're trading with a new established trend possibility new established trend so again i'm looking for a short position on you eu <laughs> um gu not trading it it's just been consolidating um look here um, obviously this has been downtrending so it's a bit nicer to 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 do a play but this is consolidating like it's been consolidating now for a full month august yeah like the the the, the, the first the second of august right here it's been consolidating the whole time so if you want to just play it like just play the range you know i don't really necessarily like playing ranges too much but sometimes they can be nice ones um, not really going to be doing much on this because as I said it's ranging. So those are kind of the ones I'm looking at really. Uh, NAS, Gold. Why? Because they're trending. Okay. EU's trending. Um, GU isn't trending. It's been consolidating in support for a while now. It looks like to me it could break to the upside. When you look at this right now as well, it looks like it could break up to the upside right now. But again, it is in a short term downtrend with a long term uptrend. But... You have to play what you're seeing right now is still going down unless you're a swing trader then a, a long position here might be a good idea but i'm not a massive i wouldn't be placing massive amounts of swing trades um and i suppose that's pretty much it um i'm not really liking to look at this one because it's just going to fucking jupiter uh, and kind of back again but that's pretty much it so those kind of like the three plays i'm looking at at the moment i am still bearish on i'm mega bearish on nasdaq 
I am a bit confused about gold. I'm kind of bearish, but I would like it to break out. And I am still bearish on Euro USD until maybe it possibly it breaks these lows here. And then we might get a bigger reaction from the liquidity base there. So maybe until this is broken, then we could probably try a long position or something once that liquidity has been swept. Um, but that's pretty much it guys so hopefully you like that update hopefully you got some ideas of what i'm looking at um if you want to join the free telegram group links in the description where i give daily ideas if you like these sort of videos give us a thumbs up and if you want to join my educational discord server the tbr academy well link again is in the description everything is in the description and even if you want to see my, how to get this as well and set this up for yourself i'm probably going to do a video on how to use this as well um hope you like the transparency hope you like the trading and um, smash the week, guys. Hope you have a good one.